On a medium to large design project, the team will typically consist of the following members. 1. Principal in charge. 2. Project manager. 3. Project engineers or architects. 4. Design engineers or architects. 5. Technicians. 6. Drafts persons. As project size decreases, it is not uncommon to have two or more of these positions filled by the same person. Major responsibilities for the first three team members are as follows. First, we'll discuss the principal in charge. The principal in charge is the firm's most senior management representative for the project and is the authorized person responsible for the design, quality, and client relationship throughout the duration of the contract. He or she is responsible to the client and to the firm for the successful execution of the project. The principal in charge is an officer of the firm, provides guidance for the activities of the project manager, maintains continuing contact with the client throughout the course of the project, maintains familiarity with major aspects of the project in order to relate with the client and to fill in for the project manager as necessary signs all legal documents referencing the project for the firm. The second team member is the project manager. The project manager is the firm's representative responsible for the overall leadership and management of a project from inception through completion. In short, to lead, direct, and manage the project team. The project manager must be a capable and experienced person with authority to speak for the firm in dealing with the client in all routine matters associated with the project, participates with the principal in charge during contract negotiations, is aware of and helps to articulate the client's goals and objectives, plans the project in all aspects of definition, schedule, and budget in coordination with the principal in charge, determines the skills required for the project, participates in the selection of the project engineers, architects, and team members, is responsible for recommending, coordinating, and scheduling outside consultants, monitors the progress of the project to determine actual work accomplished versus cost to date versus budget, takes appropriate actions to maintain the project schedule and budget, manages all billings and ensures timely collections in accordance with contract requirements, prepares weekly staffing forecasts and requirements, conducts all project meetings, produces all meeting minutes, memoranda, or other notes, signs all correspondence relating to the project, coordinates all questions with the client, receives all project information that comes into the design firm and distributes it accordingly, manages all conceptual design and technical reviews, performs all quality assurance audits to verify that quality control procedures have been performed, coordinates the preparation of all specifications, coordinates all printing and delivery requirements to the client, other consultants, approval agencies, etc., coordinates with all approval agencies and authorities to ensure that any specific requirements are addressed, organizes and establishes project files, coordinates or conducts construction administration activities, provides billing information to accounting and reviews all invoices prior to billing, coordinates and monitors all construction budgets and cost estimates, provides the principal in charge with periodic performance reports and the final project evaluation, is responsible for final project closeout, and lastly, the project manager, develops and maintains good working relations with the client in order to promote new business development. The third team member is the project engineer or architect. The project engineer or architect is the technical leader of the project. He or she plans and supervises the project tasks that result in the preparation of schematic, design development, and construction documents for the project. The technical aspects of the project tasks must be in accordance with the design firm's policies, procedures, and standards. The project engineer or architect reports to and may also be the project manager, establishes the design analysis parameters together with the project manager, is responsible for the quality control of the design analysis function, 
and discipline, plans and supervises overall preparation of calculations, equipment selection and product evaluation, analysis of alternatives and design parameters, specifications, drawings, coordination with other technical disciplines, code research, site surveys, construction cost estimates, and system and design concepts. In addition, the project engineer or architect provides leadership to other members of the technical team, is aware of the individual technical capabilities of the project team, and seeks specialized help when needed, is responsible for the technical accuracy of each segment of the work, is responsible for the final check of the technical work or for making arrangements to have another experienced person perform the final check, ensures that company policies, procedures, and standards are adhered to, is responsible for adherence to all applicable codes, should be a registered architect or engineer, and should seal the drawings upon completion or be willing to do so.